Hello, my name is Mitchell Heinzman with the backhoe odor product group at Caterpillar, and I'm going to introduce you to the new F2 backhoe odor gauge cluster. On the F2 gauge cluster, you will immediately notice a couple of differences. We have added an additional gauge, the depth fluid gauge. Also, um, we've included a LCD display. However, on the 415 machine, this depth level gauge will be replaced by a battery voltage gauge. Our other gauges are oil temperature, fuel level, and torque converter temperature. The diesel exhaust fluid level gauge will function very similar to how the fuel level gauge functions. In the red range will indicate the depth level is low and a yellow circle will also illuminate and an alarm will beep twice letting you know that you need to fill death fluid. The home screen will display gear direction and level, total machine hours, RPM, battery voltage, and hydraulic oil temperature. Diving further into the LCD display, you'll see the exact values for some of the gauges and you'll see this totals menu. Diving into the totals menu, the first one here is trip totals. Going further into that, we can look at our trip fuel used, trip average fuel, and trip hours. After exiting the trip fuel used and diving into the second menu here, our lifetime totals, we'll see the total fuel used and total average fuel. This will assist in managing fuel consumption. Here in our service menu, you can see the service, the service maintenance hours, diagnostic events, this is where error codes are stored, and the ECM summary. By utilizing the service menu, you can diagnose issues immediately and can save you time and money. Our last menu here, the settings menu, is where you can find and change your units from metric to English or vice versa. You can also change the backlight brightness using this navigational scroll menu here. And if your machine is equipped with auxiliary hydraulic flow, you'll see this menu here, which is where um, you can change the value for your auxiliary flows. Once you make that change, this setting will be maintained through a key cycle. In conclusion, there's many new features here with the um, new gauge cluster on the F2, with the addition of the LCD display, uh, the ability to change auxiliary hydraulic flow levels, and the additional gauge.